Hello, my name is Ross Rother Borge. I was part of a very small but very talented team of people that put together the track Would You Mind for Tom Meehan. Today, I thought it was just worth looking inside and listening to some of the parts isolated because there's some incredible stuff on it. So uh, I've got the, the project in front of me here. Um, I think we'll start with the... Oh, uh, <laughs> this was some... Um, the guy that produced it, Gareth... This was a this was an idea that he just wanted to record quickly, so he just grabbed the mic in front of some speakers, and the idea was that he would get a, a better vocalist or maybe even Tom or whoever to re-record the idea at some point. Um, but by the time we'd kind of stuck some effects on it and and messed around with it, it just kind of had this vibe that we just thought it it doesn't need replacing. It does the job that we wanted to do, and we kind of just got used to it. And 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 I think it was the right thing to keep it in. But I'm talking about this vocal. Spooky to most people that would maybe listen to this song. Mildly hilarious to me because I saw Gareth there just <laughs> throwing down a throwing down this quick scratch vocal that I I don't think he'd ever dream that was going to be on the final track. But here we are. Uh, second of all, um, there's a fair amount of cello on it. This is all from a woman called Kath. I think in the time that I made her a cup of tea, she had tracked the whole song. Um, she does all of our cello here. She's a really great player. I think we maybe gave her the lead lines and then let her do kind of any variations or the harmonies and bit, whatever she wanted to do, which she pretty much does the first take on the spot every time. Uh, so she keeps getting called back, but these are just some really great parts. I'll play back with Tom's vocal. Would you mind if I told you honestly What's really been happening to me? Shout out, Kath. Great job as usual. What else have we got on here? A Mellotron. <laughs> Mellotron has sneaked his way into quite a few of Tom's songs just because of his uh, his love for the Beatles. Tom knows every word to every song of every album. I've never met a Beatles fan like Tom. So in case you don't know what a Mellotron sounds like, it's, uh, it's one of these. We should probably just remind you of the Beatles straight away. If I asked you one last favour Mellotron, love it. Beatles, love it. Uh, some electric guitars on it. With some really great parts. This sounds epic. In been happening to me again same as Tom's vocal everyone just kind of getting together to create this amazing kind of ambient atmosphere and vibe just to to pull Tom's vocal pull Tom's vocal through but that sounds great as well um shout out john lee for smashing those guitars great job man so the acoustic guitars on this there's one nylon and one normal acoustic guitar um the nylon guitar was much like gareth's scratch vocal i think we put the nylon guitar down it was just to hand we picked it up shoved the microphone in front of it and did a quick demo just to kind of put the idea down but then again it kind of suited the vibe that it wasn't super polished and didn't sound like perfect i mean you can see like some of the like terrible eq on here but it was just what we ended up doing just throw it down quickly let's get it done it was more about the songwriting and then we just kind of got used to how that sounded and and, and loved it so we ended up keeping that nylon we tried to re-record some of it and thought that they actually worked pretty well together so there's two acoustic guitars 
one left, one right-ish. Would you mind if I lean on you for a little while? I think the um, the nylon has got the the retro plug-in on, which is what um, Gareth's spooky ooh, voice has got on it. That's just giving it that wobble and making it sound just retro and and a bit badly recorded. But that's kind of the vibe that we wanted. Um, there's some more electric guitars, maybe less ambient-y stuff. That's a bit more like tremolo stuff. Again, just thickening out a bit of a bit of a vibe thing. There's no electric bass on this. This was played in on a on a synth. Oh, there is electric bass in it. Sorry, I've told a lie. We doubled up. There's not an awful lot of that in the mix. Uh, there's these little funny percussion loops in there. And it's all just eerie and spooky, isn't it? It all helps kind of create that that atmosphere. Um, last but not least, Tom's vocal. It was it was hard to it was hard to watch, let alone do. Tom was just fairly close to all of us, but just on the other side of a glass in front of in front of a microphone, and I think. We managed to get two takes out of Tom before it was it was pretty much impossible to do any more tracking. He was he was too kind of emotionally involved in in kind of the lyrics and and the subject matter. It it got in fact it got to the repeat. It got to this line. It doesn't matter because I'll never risk that call. So I think we had a couple of takes and I think we generally used, it was, it was one of the takes, I don't remember, it was the first or the second take, pretty much the whole way through. There were a couple of lines I think we swapped out. But the, the last line, Tom only did the repeat of that line at the end on the second track. And on that second track, Tom completely, completely broke down whilst trying to sing it and didn't actually get any kind of melody out because he was that upset. And there was a kind of, there was a discussion in the studio of whether that, had gone a step too far if that had we'd gone from trying to capture emotion to just recording Tom really upset so Tom had a had a cigarette break and then we we came back and Tom stepped back in and, and did that one last line but the rest of it was all made up of mostly the first or the second take I don't remember but um, just an incredible vocal so I, I've never experienced anything like it. Like it was, it was very somber. And the, the the vibe that I think people, judging from the feedback that we've that we've received from fans and and friends and stuff, the the vibe that people get from the recording is the vibe of what it was like in that room. I think Tom finished that take, and I think you could have heard a pin drop. And Tom came into the other room. I'm I'm not sure. Anyone barely spoke. I think we just we just hugged it out and um, and we're just trying to be there for him as a friend. And I I just don't think I've ever ever experienced something like that in a studio. And I don't know if I ever will again. It was it was like I said, incredibly difficult to watch, let alone do. But um, Tom's an incredible vocalist, and to be able to convey his kind of emotions like that while still maintaining this kind of a really well in tune in time performance is just he's obviously been at the top of the game for a really long time for for a reason um top top bloke anyway that was inside the track would you mind i hope you've all enjoyed it there's plenty more songs to come i think i didn't even expect this to be i thought this was good, just going to be maybe the last track on the album because the the rest of the album is very different but um i think this was a great choice to kind of to come back for tom but um, I'm looking forward to everyone hearing all the all the rock bangers. There's, uh, we've we've had a lot of fun along the way, as long as uh, a lot of a lot of emotion. But um, 
until then enjoy would you mind